fellow Virginians, this is our moment. It's our moment for parents, for grandparents, for aunts, for uncles, for neighbors to change the future of Virginia's children's lives, to change their Virginia journey. It's our time to turn that vision into a reality. It's a vision where Virginians' power, the power that has historically resided in the marbled halls in Richmond, is spread out, spread out to the kitchen tables that are held together with the bond of spirit, of liberty, and freedom. God bless you all. God bless the Commonwealth of Virginia. And let's go. Thank you. Thank you. But folks, if I said long ago, this is a different state. When Ralph and I were elected eight years ago, we had made our state open and welcoming. But the fight continues. we got to make sure we protect women's right to choose here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. we got to make sure everybody gets quality, affordable health care here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Everybody's entitled to a world-class education here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And we are going to continue that fight tonight and every day going forward. individual freedoms are being trampled on and we got to go to work on day one. And I think that children don't have a voice. I'm not a parent, um, but I have to live in the world where these children are being raised and they need to be contributing members of society and they need to be taught how to think and not what to think. And so I'm, I'm glad that he's going after school boards and has a solid plan for the economy, for building Virginia back. And it's about parents seeing the direction of the country in terms of crime, in terms of education, affordability. And, uh, and they're just, they're, they're, they're taking the lead on this. They're saying enough is enough and they're getting involved in politics.